Hi everybody, it's Amanda from Manassas City, and today we are going to do collage art with Creative Bug, another project that will take quite a bit of your time if you want it to. So here we go. So the great thing about collage is you can really kind of use whatever you want. At minimum though, you will need some glue, scissors, and lots of materials to work with. You can add things like paint, glitter, markers, lace, etc. if you want. There's not, there's really no wrong way to do it. It just depends on how detailed you want to go. But since we have time, I think we should try to use it, right? So I'm going to show you two ways to make something really, really cool using collage methods. Okay, so option one. You select materials of the same or similar colors to assemble. Go through, so go through all of your clippings and pictures and things that you plan to use. See any color trends. You could do an entire page in one color, which would probably require a little bit more hunting through your items if you would like to go that direction. I decided to choose one image and then fill in around it based on the colors of that central image. And so we're going to have quite a few, a few color blocks that are large enough to make it note you can identify the colors, but not to the point where the entire page is going to be just one color. And here's a little bit of a progress picture, so you can really see the yellow, red, and blue that I chose to highlight from the interesting little image. Well, it's a very big image in the center. Option two, fill up your entire page as much as possible. Do not worry about having any rhyme or reason or anything that's really cohesive at all. I did not have any sort of focal point for this one and I just started filling it and filling it and filling it and I did not and I really just started with images that I found that were not that exciting for me or that I thought were kind of weird that I didn't think I, I would use for any of my other projects because they were just strange. And here's the next part of your option two. Now, of course, this is optional and it's an extra challenge, but it's really fun. So you can draw anything on top of your collaged items. You could draw a person, an eyeball, a dragons, hearts, whatever you want. I went with a face because I've been practicing drawing people for quite a while now. And what a time to try and make another face. So grab your markers and your pencils, start laying down a drawing. Definitely, um, you want to bring your paint in for this, for sure. And here's my final result. I tried to make her hair blend in a little bit. It does take some layering with any of your paint that you decide to use, just because of all of the thickness of your images. And then, of course, on the other side of her is the color blocked collage in its final form. So I'm a little keen to my more, to my color blocked one more, but I have plenty of time to practice drawing faces with or on unusual mediums. So thank you so much for watching. Please show us what you make.